Hello everyone, my name is uh, Mr. Daniel Osedanso and I'm actually here to share my thoughts on um, the, the particular topic known as um, education in times of crisis. Now, there are just a few um, thoughts that I will be sharing with you. I'm actually looking at um, just um, not more than 10 minutes to talk about this. My first point I'm going to talk about is about the emotional stress or the emotional climate that we are actually experiencing right now if history has actually taught us anything from um, the spanish flu to covid 19 we've realized that these particular crises we are praying that it doesn't happen again in um, in, in in our life but then um we we may experience um something like this in, in, in future so we will have to find ways and means to be able to, to to deal with it that is why i'm actually here in your various places you are watching me live to share my thoughts the emotional climate i'm going to talk about it's it's everywhere there is a lot of pressure that this particular pandemic has actually brought and um, our students are actually facing a lot of challenges and this can actually cloud the judgment of um, people and then um, they can end up making very wrong decisions so if we need to um, make sure that this particular thing we pull through we need to look at the emotional adjustments of people our students in the house we know that uh, this particular thing has had a lot of effects on them and if we don't try to help them or find solutions to it, then they will actually find solutions for it themselves. For example, if you listen to news or you read um, um, certain um, documents, you realize that there are certain social vices that are actually on the rise. Like, for example, teenage pregnancies, um, suicide, cyber bullying, um, bullying, and then all other things that are actually coming up. Now, so far as we are all in this particular situation, we will definitely have certain students who will be uh, maybe going off a little bit. But then that is where the teachers, the governments, the parents need to come in to help resolve this. If we experience any behavioral changes in our students, we should try as much as possible to seek help from professionals as much as we can. My second thought is um, the governments, governments all around the world are actually trying as much as possible to put things in place to be able to um, help the education system still run. But the problem is, as we all know, the inequalities in our education system is, is, is very, very, very high. For example, in our country, if we look at uh, the international schools, most of them have been able to jump onto the e-learning platforms. But then when we come to the various, um, when we come to the various um, local schools, we realize that they are not able to um, assess this e-learning as much as possible. This brings out the basic fundamental questions about our situational um, differences, that is, the questions about social justice. Like for example, who is actually or who should be educated? That is one. Secondly, are the education resources being equally shared? That is another question that needs to be thought about. The next thing is, how do we make sure that our education is suitable to the needs of the least advantaged people in the society? These are fundamental questions that we should, we need to answer. We know that our governments are really working hard to put things in place to help. But if we are able to let the, the person who is the least, the least advantaged in the society assess quality education in times like this, that is when we will say that um, we have actually made progress. The next is about the teachers. This pandemic also affects teachers in various ways. Um, there are so many teachers 
who have ended up losing their jobs and then so many teachers who have also ended up with some emotional problems the education system or the education researchers that we are actually talking about they need and the government they need to bring in policies that will actually take the needs of the teachers also into consideration all of a sudden teachers need to deal with different different ways of communicating or teaching students you see and then when this happens there need to be skills that teachers need to actually acquire in future maybe this should drive curriculum changes that is for example if they are building curriculum to help um, educate our students we should input all these particular factors in to be able to meet the needs of teachers in able so that they will be also able or comfortable to teach um, in these particular times we should also look at the fact that parents are also facing a lot of challenges our parents have challenges in their homes as well as their workplaces and so on and so forth but then the parents also need to try as much as possible to communicate more to be able to understand what is going on in them so that immediately there is any problem they will be able to resolve it as soon as possible they also need to try as much as possible to communicate with the schools in which their children actually find themselves to be able to know whether if they are getting the help that they actually need for all these things to actually work we we, we actually we, we we need to try to input them in in, in our curriculum so that moving forward in the future if we should face such a challenge there will or our education system will not come to a halt some other things that we can do is when we look at our students whilst we are teaching them we should try as much as possible to reassure them we should try as much as possible to talk about other stuff other than the, the pandemic or the crisis that we are actually facing as, as as a country or as a world or in the, the whole world we should try to encourage them let's talk about other things instead so that um, they will they will feel more comfortable to share their problems with with us in all or in general what i'm trying to say is that this year has taught us a lot of things and if there is anything that we have actually learned we should try as much as possible to inculcate all that we have learned into our educational system so that in the near future if uh, we should face a, a, a pandemic or a crisis like this if that is the world should face something like this or some parts of the world should, should face something like this the education system will not come to a halt like we saw from the beginning of this particular year i'm not going to take much time i will if i have the opportunity to share my thoughts with you again i will actually be very happy but then thank you very much for listening to me as i promised i was going to speak for less than 10 minutes so i wouldn't take much of your time thank you very much for listening thank you bye <laughs>